Hello everyone, I am a teacher from Agriculture Engineering College, Jiangsu University. Today my topic is about field management. This is the context of my report. First, I will give some introduction about field management, and then I will detailly talk about the research in our group. It is about phenomic equipment and crop protection machinery. Field management refers to various management taken during field production from sowing to harvesting, such as sowing, tillage, pruning, irrigating, frost prevention, growth monitoring, disease and insect prevention. In this report, I will mainly talk about the research in our group. It is about phenomic equipment and crop protection equipment. First, what is phenomic equipment? Have you heard about the word phenomic? In fact, it is a combination of phenotype, genotype, and environment. We can also say phenotype, genotype, and environment are corresponding to each other. Here in our study, we most focus on the phenotype. It includes above ground part and underground part. We can also say root part. For the above ground part, we can use laser, radar, infrared sensor to, mess, to measure it. But root is in soil. It is opaque for us to see it. It is also opaque for the machineries to see it. As we all know, root is very important for the growth of plant. Root system plays a very important part in anchor of plants uptaking water and nutrient. It is also most important step to plant psychology, breeding ecology, and phenotypology, also to gene improvement, water and fertilizer utilization, and crop quality and yield in agriculture production. Root also has some other functions, such as providing products for potato, for carrot, Root is just the product. It has ecology action. It intercepts with nutrition. It competes with other plants. And also, it affects soil structure. So how to study on root? People used to invent some traditional methods for root study. For example, we can cultivate root in vapor, in water, so we can see it directly and carry out experiment on it. We can also cultivate it in mesh bag. If you want to study on it, you just take it out. We can also cultivate it in glass container. The root grow along the container and we can see it directly. These methods are all destructive. That means when you mix some experiment on it, you destroy it so you cannot carry out a continual study on it. How to solve these problems? People invented some modern method for root study. For example, X-ray and XAT. Yes, it's just the machine used in hospital. We use X-ray or XAT to take a photo of our arms, legs, and brains. As we all know, it's very expensive so most researchers cannot afford for it. We also have some cheaper way, such as mineral resertron. What is mineral resertron? Maybe you have not heard about this word. I will uh, explain it simply for you. As it is shown in the right two picture, a mineral resertron is composed of a glass tube, a camera, and an image processing system. When it is working, the glass container is buried around the root system. The camera is sliding up and down around the glass tube and take photo of root part. After that, the image processing system will uh, process these images and acquire parameters from these photos. These are some basic knowledge about phenomic equipment. And if you are interested in it, you can search it from internet. And next, we will have some knowledge about crop protection. 
Crowd protection refers to the use of a, a variety of technology, including chemical, physical, and biological prevention and control methods, low toxicity and low residue pesticide application technology, so as to control disease and pests. It reduces soil pollution, ensures the safety of agricultural products and the environment, and achieves the purpose of sustainable agricultural development. The use of plant protection technology can effectively improve the soil environment, reduce the retention of pesticide residue, provide abundant energy for microorganisms, reduce the loss of fertilizer, and increase the nutrient contact in the soil. On one hand, the development of plant protection can realize the scientific, rational, and safe use of pesticide improve the monitoring and the control of disease and pests. It is an effective way to vigorously promote the quality and the safety of agriculture products and ensure the ecological environment safety. On the other hand, it is necessary to change the traditional pest control method, which is always labor-consuming and time-consuming, and vigorously develop specialized method. It has promoted the transformation of agricultural production and management from the traditional mode to modern mode, improved the level of large-scale working, which is intensive, specialized, and standardized. Since the beginning of the 21st century, the international community has also strengthened its assistance to developing countries. The food production of developing countries has greatly increased, but it has not reached the expected level and the world average level. On the contrary, the rapid growth of population in the peace era has made developing countries unable to reach the level of food self-sufficiency. At the same time, the level of agriculture mechanization in developing countries is not very high. So the task of improving agricultural mechanization in developing countries is very urgent. With the continuous progress of China's industrial technology, China's plant protection is also developing very quickly. Uh, at present, China has a complete product line in the field of plant production machinery. Precision spring technology is becoming more mature. With the rapid development of agricultural mechanization in China, plant protection mechanization has also made great progress. The quantity of mobile plant protection machinery has increased significantly. Besides the large self-propelled sprayer, there are also new types of plant protection, such as UAV. It is a short term of unmanned aerial vehicle ground juggler spray robot, and so on. And next, I will introduce some current plant protection spray technology in China. There are four parts. The first is boom sprayer for field. Second is ultra sprayer. The third is about greenhouse sprayer. And the last is plant protection by UAV. Now let's come to the boom sprayer for field. What is boom sprayer? A tractor is equipped with a sprinkler to complete the spring operation. There are two types of the boom sprayer. The first is the traction sprayer, and the second is the hanging sprayer. Here is a video for boom sprayer. Let's watch it.
And uh, next, I will introduce some uh, boom sprayer. This is a Hanyang sprayer. The main specification of it, the capacity of the medicine box is 100, 1,800 liter. It is large. Another Hanyang sprayer, the capacity of medicine box is 800 liter. It is not very large. And the spray rate of single nozzle is 1.2 liter per minute. This is a semi hanging sprayer. The capacity of medicine box is 6,200 liter. This is a traction sprayer. The capacity of medicine box is between 1,000 to 2,000 liter. And the spray rate of single nozzle is 1.2 liter per minute. This is another traction sprayer. And next, I will show you another video for auto control. And it is a machinery from Hardy, a company named Hardy. It is a company from Denmark, very famous for its tractor, for its spray machinery. The agricultural machinery in this company is very important. It's very famous. It's intelligent, precise, and also it's very expensive. Let's watch it. Would you like to see how easy it is to use the Hardy Auto Steer, Auto Section Control in the Hardy Self Propelled Sprayer? Let's have a look. Okay, I've entered the field and I want to do the boundary first. I want to start it. I need to activate the uh, auto section control and I need to activate the auto height. The green area is indicating the sprayed area and the black line to the right hand side is indicating the right hand tip of the boom. While I'm out here doing the boundary, I may as well drop an AB line for my auto steer later on. I want a new pattern. I'll choose this AB line. I'll accept that. And I will drop the first set point. And then as I get towards the end of this run, I'll drop set point B. And that will generate the lines that the auto steer will use to guide and drive or steer the machine. You can see here I'm spraying, uh, indicated by the green color. If I turn a section off, you see the color changing. I better turn those back on. I can now set my B point, and as soon as I've done that, you can see the, uh, the AB line is, has been generated. As I get to the end of the uh, boundary run, I can see the, uh, the next line coming up. I'll stop the boundary. And now I can start turning, turning into the next uh, spray line, which is coming up here. It's indicated by this black line. And uh, I can see the auto section turning off. And now I'll go to auto steer by pressing this button down here. I can look at the map in different perspectives. Um, you can see I'm on the second run now. The indication on the right hand side is the, um, the AB line that I dropped whilst I was doing the boundary. Again, as I come to the end of this run, you'll see the, uh, the auto section uh, turn off. And once I do the steering myself, uh, you'll see the icon for the auto steer change color. And now as I enter the, the second run, I can hit the auto steer and again, machine takes over. I've 
now taken the steering over. And we're coming into the next row or run. And I can activate the auto steering again. And you can also see that uh, some of it is green and some of it is not. And this is, of course, where I have already sprayed the perimeter or the boundary of the, the field before. All right, and now I'm finished, ready to fold and go to the next field. And uh, next, I will talk something about self propelled boom sprayer for field. The first is plant protection machinery for paddy field. Second, large self-propelled boom spray machine. The third, Dow Popper's self-propelled spray machine. And the last one is high ground clearance boom spray machine. First, self-propelled boom sprayer for field. The volume of the medicine box is very large and the length of the boom is generally more than 18 meters. The boom is equipped with automatic balance, with high ground clearance, large submarine range, fast operation speed, and high productivity. And this is a plant protection machinery for paddy field. It is a self-propelled boom sprayer for field. It's suitable for crop rice because it is high to work in the paddy field. This is a Dow Popper self-propelled spray machine. Self-propelled propelled boom sprayer for field. It is made by a Chinese company in Zhenjiang. Some main specifications of it. And this is another Dow Popper self-propelled spray machine. Some main specification of it. This is a large self-propelled boom spray machine. And here is a video about how the self-propelled boom spray machine works. Let's watch it. This is a high ground clearance boom spray machine. Here is some specification of it for high ground clearance boom spray machine. And here is a video about how high ground clearance boom spray machinery works. And let's watch it now.
Next, I will introduce something about the ultra dust barrier. Uh, there are four types for ultra dust barriers. The first is artificial sprayer, the second, circular air assistance sprayer, the third, tower type air assistant sprayer, and the last one is agriculture unmanned spray vehicle. At present, the common ground spray machinery in orchards mainly includes this four count, and next, let's know something about it. This is an uh, artificial sprayer for the orchard. It is from uh, a company named Knapsack. It's a very famous company also. Here is a video about how it works. Let's watch it. Another video for artificial sprayers. And the second is circular air assistant sprayer. As the picture shows, a circular is at the end and it is air assistant. Here are some specifications of it. Another air assistance sprayer. Here is a, a video about how air assistance sprayer works. Let's watch it. The third one is tower type of air assistant sprayer. The name tower type air assistant sprayer is from the shape of this kind of sprayer. It is just like a tower. Another type of tower type air assistant sprayer. Some specification of it. This is also a tower type air assistant sprayer. The last one is agriculture unmanned spray vehicle. This is the main specification of it. And here is a video about how the unmanned spray vehicle works. Another video for unmanned spray vehicles. Let's watch it. This is also a video for unmanned spray vehicles. Let's watch it. And next, I will show you something about greenhouse sprayer. This is a manual greenhouse sprayer. The capacity of medicine box is only 60 liter, so it is labor consuming and time consuming. Let's see how the manual greenhouse sprayer works. Let's watch this video. Also, a menu greenhouse sprayer. The capacity of medicine box is 100 to 200 liter. Let's see how the menu greenhouse sprayer works. This is a, a guiding type greenhouse sprayer. There is a reel for it. The capacity of medicine box is 300 liter. It is larger than the last one. 
This is a self-propelled greenhouse sprayer. The capacity of medicine box is 500. A self-propelled greenhouse sprayer, the capacity of the medicine box is about 100. This is a controlling system for the uh, spraying machineries. And uh, we can operate it from the mobile phone, from a laptop. It's very convenient. This is a real sprayer. This kind of sprayer is uh, very convenient for the greenhouse. The capacity is large and uh, uh, it is easily equipment in the greenhouse. This is also a real sprayer. Let's see how the real sprayer works in greenhouse. Let's watch this video. Some other real sprayers. This is a remote control mesa sprayer. Let's see how it works. This is a remote controlling sprayer in greenhouse. Let's watch this video. And uh, next, let's learn something about the plant protection by UAV. Currently, there are two kinds of uh, UAV. The first one is single wing plant protection UAV, and the second is multi wings plant protection UAV. There are some types of these UAVs. This is a single wing plant protection UAV. Let's see how it works. Let's watch this video. <laughs> 外面我觉得也是有一些什么的 single wing plant protection UAV Let's see how it works Let's watch this video
This is also a single wing plant protection UAV. Let's see how it works. Let's watch this video. Another video for the single wing UAV. This is a multi wing UAV and the capacity is only 30 liter. It is very light. Let's see how the multi wing UAV works. This is also a multi-wing UAV. The capacity is only 20 liters. It's very small. Let's see how it works. multi-wing UAV. The capacity of medicine box is also 20 liter. Now we can see that most capacity for medicine box for the UAV is very small, so it is light in the sky. Let's see how it works. Another multi-wing UAV. Let's see how it works. Multi wing plant protection UAV. How it works? Let's watch this way.
This UAV is made by a Chinese company. And currently, UAV for crowd protection is becoming more and more popular. It is suitable for large area and distance, for orchard, farm and crop field, but it is also very expensive. And if you are interested in the UAV, you can search it from the internet for more knowledge. And that's all for my report. Thank you.